Hello friends. So you might have seen on my last video that I'm working on a 2007 Ford Edge. Now, during my inspection to show the viewers, you, the vehicle, I noticed something. There is splatter here. And I thought, well, where's that coming from? Then I noticed the splatter here. And I'm going, well, that's where, then it dawned on me, that's the greasiest headlight I've ever seen. You know what I think they did? Because this came from a dealership. I think they used off on the headlights rather than just get a drill polisher kit. You know, a $20 kit. It's going to last you forever because there's like 10 pads, 20 pads, something like that in it. You can use just some simple polish on one of those pads. Take care of it. No problem. Completely ethical. No, you didn't go through an entire restoration on the headlights for the car lot, but you gave it a little bit of something. That to me is totally unethical. I cannot handle that. I have, I have been so mad and you can see my attitude change in the other video. Cause I'm like, oh, uh-uh, no. So today we're gonna clean these up, okay? Now, because there's so much oil in there, I have to break the rules, but I have no choice because I don't want to just try and polish it. I don't know what's in there. I don't have any idea what's in there. I don't have any idea what kind of problem it would cause. It's better for me to take the extra time and clean it the proper way. So I'm gonna use Dawn dish soap. That ought to break through all of the oils and all of that. Can you see the fingerprints in there? Right there? Those are my fingerprints. I'm the one who drug my finger through there. Okay, so, this is clean. I got it all clean. Still got a little bit of water on it. And it's really rough, okay? And that's where the foggy is going to come in is because it's got a bunch of gunk on it. Well, we don't want to completely restore it as a dealership detailer. What we want to do is just pick it up a little bit, just enhance it so that the customer thinks, oh, okay, it's all in the psychology of detailing, okay? but you're not going through the entire process to restore them. So this is gonna be a 10 minute video because I need to explain some things. But once you are out there in the field and you have a vehicle that the headlight is foggy and you've gotta spruce it up a little bit for the dealership, you have a drill. Buy a drill polisher kit. These things are $20 on Amazon. You get these pads, and you get this backer plate, you put it on the drill, good to go. Now what can you use? What kind of product can you use? Well, if you're a dealership detailer, you can go to your auto parts store and you can get some plastics. Now this is made by Meguiar's. I actually like this stuff, it's not bad at all. I've done several enhancements with this stuff and it's good. This would be a good option, especially if you're doing a dealership car. But because I have the luxury of trying out products, this is the Nazio Clear Rub 105. This is the heavy cut of their polish line. And I'm gonna go ahead and use it on here and see if we can't spruce it up now that we've got that oil and crap off of there. This is all you need. See how it brought that headlight back to life? 
Of course, when you're using a drill polisher, just so I mentioned this, did you notice how it kept trying to run away from me? Always hold on to those things with both hands. But look at that. It's done. It took me long because I have to talk. But that's it. Just wipe, clean all that crap off of there. And it's easy to do. Just get you some APC. You don't even have to use Dawn Dish Soap. I used that because they, they had used that oily crap on there. And it was all over the place. Okay? So, get, the, get a drill polisher. And if you got a polisher that you have in your shop, maybe, that stays connected, use that. Make it simple, not unethical. So, this headlight is done. Let's move to the next one. You just need a tiny bit, just a drop. Look at that, that's just gross. And this is just rinseless wash, it's O and R in my DIY detail bottle. <laughs> they may, they have really good bottles, just so you know. So this headlight, I'm gonna use the plastics and just kind of give you a look at what it can do. It's simple. Can you see it? And it's it's not rough. The polish has stuff in it. Oh, I can't even believe I have to say this. And I'm not even an exterior person. The polish has stuff in it to clean up these headlights. There's no reason to be unethical. Nice, smooth, and again, shiny. Shiny. So the point of being a dealership detailer is to understand that you represent and are most likely a business. When you are a business, you are being held to a higher, higher standard. When it comes to things like this, unethical is not going to work for me. I don't like that. Number one, I'm in business. I can't get other business if somebody sees I'm being unethical, okay? So, don't do the same thing yourself. If you're working for a dealership, sometimes you just need to stand up to them and say, you know what, I'll do what you need me to do. However, I'm not going to do anything unethical. It goes against who I am as a person. If I was ever asked by those sellers if I would do something unethical, they would get a big fat no. Okay? You have to be the same. You represent the business if you're hired by the dealership. If you are your own detailer and you work and do side jobs for the dealership, you are the business. Remember that. How do you know that the person who buys this car doesn't see that and say, what the hell? Now, obviously with headlights, they're not gonna say anything, but if you're gonna do this, you will carry that into the inside and the customers will see that. And if the customer says, who, who detailed this car? That dealership's not gonna have any problem whatsoever telling them, yeah, Joe Blow did it. Would you like their phone number? Don't be unethical. Don't be stupid. And that's stupid, stupid aggravating as hell. This took me five minutes to clean up two headlights and I had to clean them because of the nastiness on them. Off. The bug repellent does not belong on the headlights. Number one, that oil takes the moisture out of this plastic. It's no good. You are only going to make a bad headlight worse in the long term. Don't be dumb. Not all life hacks are worth your time. Dealership detailers, clean off those headlights. 
And one more thing. If you don't have a drill polisher kit, here you go. Let me show you. Microfiber towel. Polish. It's a little bit of elbow grease. But you can shine up a headlight with the polish and the microfiber towel. You see me do it on my videos all the time. When I don't want to dig out the drill polisher kit, I throw some Naziel or uh, uh, Coach Kimmy, Maguire's the polish on a towel. My hands broke. I don't like unethical practices. I have to fight that every day as a dealership detailer. Even big detailers on YouTube will think that I am unethical like this. Absolutely not. I'm done complaining. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm taking this car over to the car lot, let mom and dad have it, and they can put it on the line because it's ready to go. And I am ready to go start my weekend. In the meantime, I'm going to stew about unethical de dealership detailers. They aggravate me. <laughs> can you tell? Is it, is it obvious? I hope I'm not hiding it that well. Do better. Have a good one, everybody. You know I love you. Subscribe for me, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.